Hi and welcome everyone to our course for lightning protection systems. In the first lesson or in the first section of our course, we will start discussing the lightning phenomena, the effects of lightning and the lightning waveform. So that is the first section in our course. In the second section, we are going to start discussing the lightning protection system the com components of lightning protection systems like air termination, down conductors, uh, earthing systems, and etc. And we will learn about the different methods in order to design our lightning protection system. Then we are going to have a project using AutoCAD program and we will see how are we going to design our system. So before we start all of this, the first lesson, we will have an introduction and we will understand more about lightning phenomena. So lightning phenomena, as we will see in this figure here on this um, GIF, this is a natural phenomena occurred due to the electrostatic discharge through the atmosphere between two charged regions. So when we are saying why does this even happen, you will find that we will have a cloud like this. This cloud can have positive charges like this and the negative charges and we have here our ground here now this ground we will have positive charges and then what will happen exactly that these negative charges would like to go to these positive charges or positive charges would like to go to negative charge so this will start going like this and this will start going like this and then, then when they have a contact with each other, we will have this lightning phenomena. Now, this can occur between a cloud and ground, or between the cloud itself, between the cloud itself inside the cloud, or between this cloud and another one like this, with negative charges, and between these two charges. So it can be between clouds between cloud and the ground or inside the cloud itself, okay? Now let's understand why does this even happen or where do the electric charges come from? So you'll find that in the first stage in order to generate a charges, you'll find number one, the formation of electric charges. So the electric charges are formed in the atmosphere due to mainly the ionization of air molecules by cosmic rays. So we have our cloud here with many, many molecules of air and due to cosmic rays coming from the outer space, we will have molecules with positive charges, negative, positive, negative, like this, everything is balanced, okay? Positive and negative charges. Then what will happen in this? Now, due to the collision between the cosmic rays and the molecules, we will have positive charges and negative charges formed. Then due to uh, the thundercloud or due to wind, we will have separation of this positive charges and negative charges. One would be above and the other will be below like this. So what you can see is that the negative charges will accumulate at the bottom part of the cloud and the positive charges will go to the top of the cloud. Then what you will see that these positive charges will accumulate most likely, it will be accumulated on the uh, top of the cloud and negative will be accumulated on the bottom of the cloud. This is the most cases. In very rare cases, we can have a positive here and the negative on the upper part, okay? but most likely positive on the upper part and in the bottom we will have the negative charges, okay? Then what will happen? The next step is that you will find we have a formation of a stepped leader. So what I mean by this, you can see that after separation of electric charges, now what will happen? You can see we have negative charges here, right? Now these negative charges will induce or uh, encourage positive charges to be accumulated on the ground. Remember, negative charges 
would like to go to positive source. They would like to attract each other. They would like to combine with each other. Okay, so what will happen is that these positive charges will start accumulating on the surface of the ground, like this. Okay, on the surface of the ground, since we have negative and positive. Now, between these two, as you can see here, we have negative charges and positive charges. Then what will happen is that we will have a magnetic field formed between them. A magnetic field. Uh, not a magnetic electric field formed between them okay now when this charge becomes a very very large lots of negative charge lots of negative charge and of course it will lead to formation of positive charges here because they are going coming from the ground because they would like to go to these negative charges now when we have large amount of charges here and here electric field becomes a very very large uh, due to this large electric field we will be able to break down air so it means that our negative charges will start forming this steep leader so they are going to go like this go like this through different passes in order to go to the ground now at the same time you will find that the positive charges itself will start coming from the ground through objects like trees or humans or anything or a building in order to go to this uh, step the leader so you'll see that we have negative charges here going down and we have positive charges going up 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 like this positive 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 like this and forms this positive streamer so it's called streamer going from the ground up and the one coming from the cloud is called the step the leader now when these two touch each other we will have the lightning strike okay so of course this invisible channel which is a step the leader we don't see it right now unless when they are touching each other when they touch each other we will have the actual lightning bullet as the step the leader reaches the ground it creates a strong electric field that leads to induction of positive electric charges on objects on the ground these will form the upward moving streamers which is the positive streamer, which you can see here, since it was, you go from the ground through an object and go up like this, and this will go down here until they touch each other and form the lightning strike. Okay, so you can see that these positive charges will be coming from the tall buildings or tall objects on the ground, because the uh, lightning strike would like to hit or these uh, positive and negative charges would like to combine with each other. So these positive charges will come from tall objects like trees, building, or even people. Now, in the early stages, as I have just explained, you will see that uh, why does these two don't go to each other? These touch each other, go like this directly, because we have an insulating medium between them. We have negative charges here, positive charges here. And between them there is an insulating medium that prevents them from reaching each other this insulating medium is our air okay this prevented the um, reaching of positive and negative charges to each other also inside the cloud itself we have insulation medium between them which is air here okay now remember that the dielectric strength of air as a peak value is 30 kilovolt per centimeter. So what does this even mean? So let's say we have a distance here. We have a distance between positive charges like this and the negative charges like this. And let's say this distance, okay, 10 centimeter. Okay, here we have a gap between them, an air gap, an air acting as insulation between positive and negative now when does the breakdown happens the breakdown happens you can see 10 centimeters is the distance right and the insulation or the dielectric strength of air is 30 kilovolt per centimeters per centimeter okay so 10 centimeters mean that uh, the voltage needed voltage needed in order to break down this gap is equal to 30 kilovolt per centimeter multiplied by the distance in centimeter which is 10 centimeters right 
So this will give us 100 kilovolt. So if the potential difference between these two reaches 100 kilovolt, then the air will break down and these two will start going to each other. It will become a short circuit or a connection will be formed between them. Okay. Similarly, you can see that here in the uh, in this part we have negative charges and the positive charges. So we have uh, negative here and the positive here, and there is a potential difference between them V. Okay. Now, when this charge become very very large amount of charges here and here, what will happen in this case? You will find that this voltage will be very large that it can even break air and go like this reaching our um, reaching each other okay now remember that due to the large distance here you will find that the voltage here can be several millions okay okay several millions okay so it is not a small voltage it's a very large volts that can break down through all of this distance okay now, as you can see here, we assume that we have a dielectric, positive and negative, positive and negative, and between them air as an insulation or a dielectric material. Okay, so when these opposite charges build up enough, when they have uh, an enough uh, potential difference, this will lead to breaking down the insulation capacity of air. And there will be a discharge between the cloud and the ground, which we call the lightning. Now, someone will ask, how does even lightning occur in trees? We know that wood is an insulating material. Now, you will find that our trees are full of sap. Inside it itself, it is sap. In the core itself, core of the trees. This sap is laden with salts and sugars. So, you will find here we have uh, salts and sugar which are good conductors of um, electricity that's why the charge will go through them and go up like this okay so they don't move through the wood itself they move through the internal core which is form of uh, sap that is uh, for, uh, contains uh, salts and sugars now, as you can see here, again, what we explained is that we have negative charges, positive charges, and here we have the uh, downward, um, the stepped leader, the stepped leader, and we have the upward streamer or the positive streamer, and then when they touch each other, we will have the lightning strike. Okay, so when they connect, we have a pathway established for the flow of electric current, and this is called the return stroke. And this is what we see when we have the, uh, the thunder uh, pullet, okay? Due to the flow of electrical energy or flow of energy from the ground to the cloud. Remember that here we have positive, okay? We have positive and negative charges, okay? So they are positive going to the cloud. So we think that the, the lightning strike or the current flows from the cloud to ground. However, in reality, it goes from ground to the cloud. Now, we see this a lot. We see the forked lightning, this one. What does this even mean? Remember that the lightning strike goes from the cloud and it's like to reach the ground, right? So when it goes through the atmosphere, it looks for the smallest resistance, okay? Or the smallest insulation uh, medium. So it can go like this. And then goes like this, like this, this, okay? So you can see it moves through different bus until it reach the ground. Now, not only this, remember that we have positive charges going from the ground. So it can be like this, like this, and so on. So this, what you can see here are several, several or multiple uh, lightning strikes. Not just one, but multiple. So you can see here we will have this is a lightning discharge that appears to be split into two or more branches, the forked lightning, which we see all the time. This happens when we are trying to find the, uh, or when the lightning or the electric charges follow a nonlinear uh, route, which leads to the characteristic forked appearance of the lightning strike. As you can see here, this 
one due to several lightning bullets uh, uh, after each other not just one but several lightning bullets looking for the easiest path in order to reach the ground now again as we have said before the lightning phenomena can occur inside the cloud itself between positive and negative charges as you can see here or between two different clouds a positive and negative two clouds or between the cloud and the ground okay which is the one we are concerned with okay so what we call inside the cloud itself called intra cloud inside the cloud and between two clouds is called the cloud to cloud uh, strike okay now let's see this video in order to understand this idea of a lightning strike so let's just close this one and let's see what happens exactly so let's go like this so you can see that we have positive and negative charges which are formed inside our air okay and due to the presence of wind or thunder cloud these two will start being separated from each other so we will have positive above and negative blue as you can see here okay now then we will have the um the stepped leader which coming from that cloud and trying to go to the ground through different paths okay it tries to find the best path in order to reach the uh, ground now and we have the upward streamer coming due to positive charges coming from the ground and when they touch each other we will have our lightning bullet okay like this okay so this is exactly how a lightning strike occurs okay so this forked uh, um, forked lightning is due to following different paths in order to reach the uh, ground thank you for watching this lesson i would like to invite you to our academy khadija academy premium uh, membership which will help you learn more about electrical engineering in this academy or in the academy membership you will find that we'll have more than 100 uh, courses in mass electrical engineering basics uh, power engineering uh, career uh, preparations for example we have electrical design we have courses on electric circuits power electronics etab matlab solar energy wave energy wind energy and much more you will find also in this uh, academy you will find the different uh, feedbacks from some of our uh, students that joined our uh, courses you can for example um, uh, join our membership for just uh, a small fee per month or you can just have a lifetime access in which you will get all of current uh, courses and classes and you can have them forever and not only this but any any new courses that will be created you will be able to uh, watch it for completely free so what are the classes that i will learn in this membership you will find different classes in electric circuits you will find in uh, transformers magnetic circuits machines uh, power electronics uh, load estimation lighting design lightning also design earthing system cables uh, generators um, light current systems or low current systems uh, of grid design on grid design very very lot <laughs> lots of uh, classes and courses in different uh, topics okay and you will find that inside when you join this membership you'll find this uh, blueprint that will guide you in which classes you will start with when you join this membership so thank you and see you in our um, membership on Khadija Academy.